create an awning window. So we're going to go up and to create geometry, we're going to hit the down arrow and we're going to windows. There are six different object types. We're going to go with an awning window. We're going to go in our top viewport. I'm going to click with my left mouse. I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to set the width of the window. And I let go. Now I set the depth of the window and you know maybe three four inches or something and then I'm gonna set in this case I'm gonna set the height of the window and I'll set it and you can see over here my parameters I have the parameters it so in my height of the window I could say it's uh, two feet for example and the width I could say it's a four foot Let me get this. so I'll go four foot and the depth I'll go with five inches and you can see here's my window here. I'm going to toggle my viewport so I can see that. All right. So now let's go in here and, and we have a frame. And so the frame is around. It's two inches, the vertical and horizontal. The thickness is a half inch. Uh, pretty standard. The glazing is a quarter inch. Uh, that's how much glass we have here and the rails and panels and my rails are this part here this vertical edge here right and the panel count I have is one I'll set that to two and then it shows me that I have two different panels now so I can go which is kind of you know kind of common to have one or two uh, and I can set the percentage of openness here. If it's zero, the window is closed. If I have it to 50%, it's 50% open. Okay, so a lot of times we like to be around 25, just show it a little bit open. And this is an awning window. So uh, usually the awning windows have from the top so the rain can fall out, right? This is the exterior side here. On the back side here is the interior side. So this is our awning window. Again, we're going to go up to our create geometry. We're going to hit the down arrow and choose windows. We're going to pick awning. And then we can come down here and change the creation method and our parameters. And I can also make sure I give it a good proper name.